Welcome back to the Rich House Gun. This is part 17 of all the bosses M1070 truck and tractor with the M1000 heavy equipment transporter semi trailer. Scale is 135. Now, first of all, I apologize. I, I've had to go back to the old way that I do my intros and just show you the still photograph of the kit. It's just because I'm still having um, issues with my audio and video syncing up. So I'm just. Um, overlaying the record instead of showing uh, me me speaking and trying to to fix it and hopefully I will do but for now I'll, I'll just go back to the old way of doing things so in part 17 I'm going to be uh, working on the flatbed of, of the trailer predominantly on the uh, ramps that connect uh, onto the rear of the trailer of course there's quite a lot of work involved into these um, and there's a lot of a few interesting parts along the way so let's jump into this and see how well i get on to start off with i'm making the ramps up for the uh, flatbed um, the most important thing here is there's a, a central uh, spring that goes uh, in the middle um, that that goes over a, a rod uh, that which um, also then can move up and down now, I, I wouldn't worry so much uh, about the movement if you're having this in upright position permanently, you know, but it's still a, a nice detail to add. But before you uh, uh, place the spring in, there's a little bit of construction here to do, first of all. Um, first of all, I put the, the main um, stock bracket inside before placing the two halves of the bed together. Next uh, is the hinge. And that, that goes in uh, its own little bracket there, and then the bar just gets pushed in. Now, you may have to clean this bar up quite considerably for it to fit. Don't be tempted to open up the actual uh, hinge itself because uh, it'll be too loose if you do so. However, do not cement this in position uh, just yet because um, you will need it to move to connect to the actual trailer. The spring then just gets pushed onto its rod before going into the house and there's a, 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 a little out, um, location here of, uh, to sit in. It can be a little bit tricky, um, just that you have to make sure the spring is pushed in before you can put the part in. Um, so it needs a little bit of manoeuvring uh, to do this. And then to hold everything in position there's uh, two tiny little tacks that are going that are supplied with the kit. Now, I did actually lose one, so I just uh, put in a little piece of wire uh, into the hole. It does the same job, and you won't see it anywhere once everything uh, is on though. You may see it, but um, it's such a, a small thing, it shouldn't be a problem. And then two hand grabs uh, go in afterwards. Always try and put these on last because they're quite thin plastic and they're liable to snap. Then we have uh, two sets of lights to make up, and these are photo edge parts just bent in position. Uh, there's uh, a lot of sub assemblies for this photo edge part to make up also, and it's just a square box. And once that's set uh, on, you just place it onto the main bracket. Once I've made up these brackets, I will be putting on a couple of clear plastic lenses uh, as well. Next, I'm using Humbro 730 Clear Orange. This is for one of the Warning Beacons that uh, is going to be placed on the bracket that I just uh, made up. It's um, because it's uh, such a, a small area here, I've decided to pre-paint these uh, before placing them on. The bracket is painted in the main colour of Rebel Aquacolor 360 Fan Green and one of the lines is Rebel Aquacolor 731 Clear Red. So it's back to the ramp and uh, I'm placing on the second bracket that's going to hold on to the flatbed. Um, I recommend you putting it on the ramp itself and not the actual uh, flatbed before you place them on. It just makes it easier to get everything in alignment. However, it can be slightly awkward doing it as well because the thing just wants to spin around a little bit. So you have to persevere with it. And of course, it's the same for both sides. So well, next I'm fit, fitting the warning beacon light uh, onto the bracket. This is why um, I had to pre-paint it because there was no room to get the brush in behind this part. 
So of all those parts of uh, drawing, I'm just doing a little bit of prep work for one of the stages of the build. And that's just um, bending these uh, four edge parts that are going on to go on the central part of the flower bed. Now, if you've watched the previous video, I did mention this, but I actually got the part um, wrong um, because I threw away my notes. I was actually fitting the mud guards when I was bending the four edge into shape, not these parts here. So these are the parts I was originally on about. But I did uh, explain it in the other video where um, that I got the name wrong. So as I said, this is just the prep work for that stage. So it's back to the ramp area of the build. And uh, there's a little wench has to be made up here. Th these are uh, very small uh, little uh, cogs that uh, I have to make up. Um, the camera's not going to pick it up too well. They're, they're very, very, very tiny parts. Um, but try and build this because uh, one, it looks good on the flatbed, but two, if you miss all these tiny parts, it just doesn't uh, look right uh, once it's um, in place. I did um, have a look and see whether I could get away with not putting these on, uh, and you really can't, so you have to build them. The actual main construction of this part wasn't so bad. It was just the tiny little brackets and things like that that you, you have to place on that would prove to be problematic. But once that, that was sorted out, the, as I said, the construction was fairly simple. The two flywheels uh, go on top of each other before the uh, brackets go on. The wheel itself doesn't have to be free moving, so you don't have that worry. Um, it is a solid uh, part. Just try and hold it up to the camera so that you, you, you can see it. Um, hopefully you can just about make it out. Next is the connection bracket. This is a photo edge part. There's a tiny little eyelets that go on. Um, it's a straight piece, but once you glue it in position, then you twist one end to face the opposite direction, which I'm doing now, and this um, fits. Uh, this shapes the bracket to fit into the winch wheel. It then simply pushes on to the stem of the winch. There's no need for any cement here if you don't want to put, place any on. Now it's time to go back to the flower bed and the parts that I prepped um, and that, these are the four edge parts. Now I secured these with a little bit of super glue and they, they were quite difficult to fit these parts. Inside the bed there's a little lip that these fit into so you have to angle them down and push the four edge parts in. Now in hindsight I didn't realise it was like this. I would have fitted these before I even worked on the wheels of the flower bed. Um, so we are building this, so you look at and see how I do. Put these four H parts in before you do anything else with the flat bed. It will make your life a lot easier in the long run. It won't affect the main build at all. In fact, it will make it easier. It took me quite a while to get these uh, four H parts in. It's time to place in the winch that I previously made up. Uh, first of all, there's a little bracket that goes into its location point here. Now, my hand is going to cover a lot of this up because it's uh, such a, a small part. But then, once the bracket's in place, I simply pushed on the winch into the housing. You have to be quite careful not to bend out of shape the 4 edge part of the bracket as well because it will not look right. So. It takes a little bit of manoeuvring to get this uh, part in position. But once it's in position, the next thing to do is put on the locking chains that hold the ramps in position. Now the chain the kit gives you is just one solid piece. So how I approached it was I secured one end with a little bit of super glue and then I placed the chain um, onto it, then anchored that and waited until the chain completely dried before drawn the chain up to its next location point. Uh, I pulled it taut and snipped off any excess. So when I, when I drew it up, there was, I put a little bit of super, super glue onto it, laid the chain over it, and then just waited until it dried before I um, took off the excess. And I repeated it on the other uh, side, of course. And this is where I'll end part 17. There, there's still quite a bit to do all, all, on the model, but uh, I've got to wait and sure, um, make sure ev everything is cured before I go on to the next part. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you go and check out the channel for my other builds? There's 
uh, more than enough on there now uh, it may, something may pipe your interest uh, while you're there subscribe to the channel and if you do so hit the notification bell that's quite important you, that way you'll be kept up to date not only with this build but all my future builds as well of course hit the like button don't be afraid to leave a comment and of course you can share the video but for now thank you all very much for watching bye bye